<laughs> Good morning and welcome to my buses in the morning. I'm Leslie and I'm Holly. And would you like to do our introduction? Yep. So um, we are continuing with our 2019 Armed Forces Insurance Military Spouse episode of our branch winners. And today we're talking with our lovely Caitlin, and uh, she's our Air Force Spouse of the Year. Fantastic. And so, Caitlin, you know something that struck a little cool with me when we. Because I do have a little conversation, not a whole lot prior to make sure that we are be living and that we can get everything. Was you talked about your team and how you really love this not about you. It is about all the wonderful women that you're working with, the spouses that come in and help you. So I found a really cool song. And it's your surprise song for the day. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever heard it before. It always does these videos. So and she always has her adverts. But it's okay. That is okay, yeah. <laughs> and so, but the reason why I chose this song was because this particular artist, um, she wrote this song for her for her friends. That is all about being united as a team. So I don't know if you ever heard it, but I never knew that this song. It makes you like excited. I can picture you in a house now going. Oh, that's kind of how we roll. <laughs> Looking down. Foot, foot side. Put you in a rhythm. Right? Mm hmm And it goes boop, 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 boop. Oh, yeah. So I want you to play this song, team. The next house you are. Doing. On, her, on her video. And we can see oh. it on your videos, right? Yes. So get a link to it. Shout out. Because she oh. has a whole story behind that song. And I think it's amazing because I didn't know that until I do like I like to do a little research. That's a, a little known fact most of know about me. But um, the song is really unique the way she created that song. It, it struck a chord to me because of what you said to me a couple of weeks ago about how you love your 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 team, her her awesome team. Well, then I think it's time that you yep. tell us a little bit about what you do. Yep. You know your platform with. Um, as military spouse of the year for the Air Force, and yep. just give our audience just a little background. So a little bit of background on me is I am not only an Air Force spouse, but I'm also a veteran. I served for almost uh, five years alongside with my husband as a dual military couple. And during that time, I, well, I came in uh, after college, but I decided to enlist in the Air Force instead of go in commissioned as an officer. So I started out as the ground up in my Air Force career and literally came in with no more than a backpack on my back and the shirt off my back. And um, almost immediately met my husband. I was just that lucky <laughs> where we met at a rodeo in San Antonio and just hit it off and we're kind of inseparable ever since. Um, he had orders drop and the same day the orders drop, we decided to run off in our military uniforms to go get married in an underground chapel. That is my wedding picture. <laughs> and um, so we both kind of had nothing. When I met him, he first had a couch and that's what he was sleeping on. I kind of thought it was a joke. I'm like, where's your bed? You know, where is it? But we, he, we just didn't have money. So you know, <laughs> we started out at the ground up and I kind of saw things a little bit differently, I think, from just like that lapse in um, kind of support services that were available to military families who, like I did, came in with absolutely nothing. Um, so for a couple of years, it was really rough. And then when he ended up deploying, I found out I was pregnant with our second child when he was in transit to his duty station overseas. And I was working full time in a mental health clinic, like 12 hours a day on an exercise. And I started really dealing with a lot of mental health um, challenges and kind of got put down a really dark rabbit hole that put me in a dark place. And um, I, I just I saw things from not only being like the veteran, but also the military spouse, because I think that that aided to a lot of my issues that I was having when he was deployed. So uh, one of the ways that I actually pulled myself out of that was starting to repurpose and find myself within the creative arts and heal through it. So when I stepped out of active duty to follow his um, service, I founded a 501c3 nonprofit called Homefront Room Revival to provide creative outlets to military families to improve resiliency and heal through the holistic arts. So through the organization, we uh, are all service members and military spouse volunteers. And we basically recycle thousands of pounds of 
uh, base trash left over between military moves, that's furniture, and uh, repurpose it and give it back to military families in need throughout the state of North Carolina. So we provide personalized outreach during deployments, um, repurposed furniture donations to military families in need as well as home styling during um, a program called Deck the Deployment over the holidays, as well as throughout the year for families that are going at, through adverse times, just as I had when I was active duty, and as well as I did you know, during being a spouse. So the programs kind of massively helped me heal through starting them, and it's it's um, combat creatively combated a lot of resiliency challenges to a lot of spouses that have gotten involved in it, and that's across branches throughout the state of North Carolina. So it's pretty cool, and I don't do it by myself. There's a ton of people that back behind me, and I just love it. <laughs> I really, I really well, love my goodness, it, right? I, I like, love it. Right? I love the originality of it. I mean, nobody <laughs> does. I think that is so cool. And be able to take something that's creative and beautiful and you said it's a purpose for healing and just to make people, it's a purpose. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, I, and I love it that you you do this with your team. So I'm gonna stop you there because I love surprises, right? So I have a little <laughs> something. This is today is my Caitlin's toolbox. Oh, we love tools. You know, Caitlin has to tape measure things with her friends. Of course. Bar, out there. All the way back to North Carolina. Oh. And then, you know, there's always a hole. Something's going on with a friend, right? So we got a putty spackle. Yeah, a spackle it up. There you go. Or that's a wallpaper yeah. straight out of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Then, yeah. You know, here's all your paintbrushes. Brushes. We got paintbrushes <laughs> to clean over any of the flaws because we all mm -hmm. have them, but we still love each other. And then sometimes we have to super glue things, but we all really know that you've got to really we hot glue things, but you really got to super glue it. Together. Yeah, we can use those yeah. all the time. Right. 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 Absolutely. Together. And then at the end of the day, we give hugs and kisses. Aww. <laughs> Always in your toolbox. You need some little kisses. <laughs> at lunch because we often forget to eat during these projects. <laughs> so this is, I'm thinking of you now when I have my little toolbox here of my, my Caitlin and her, her crew, because I really, I think that that's what's so um, important to remember that you, you do this collaboratively with, uh, you always mention that, you're always mentioning your girlfriends and how they make stuff and design stuff and, and it's empowering to others and helping. Well, it's part of the successes, I would think, you know, the more mm -hmm. people you have together, the more your minds can work together and it just, it's just I think a so great place. It's amazing, right? Yeah, I really so like I have it. a question for you though, Caitlin, during being in North Carolina and that area, um, with all the hurricane issues that happened last year, was that something that affected you all in your mission at all? Um, so like we, I, my, my family evacuated, um, our base was not mandatory evacuated, but a lot of people did evacuate in the areas. But so one of the things is like a lot of families that are down still in Camp Lejeune and in Cherry Point, they're still recovering from all of that. Mm -hmm. So um, most, our mission is really like the furnishings and the um, decor aspects, but their houses aren't even repaired yet. So we weren't able to fully uh, inject ourselves in that the way that we were hoping to, but um, we kept our traditional programs going and were able to provide outreach for uh, during the holidays to families that went through that, through, um, our deck the deployment program, which is when we go in and we put up Christmas trees for military families that otherwise don't have the energy to, because they're going through a tough deployment and tough mental health obstacles to put up Christmas trees for their kids and decorate for the holidays. So. I'm gonna stop you there. Kate, can you move? Because I want everybody to see your beautiful face. There, there we go. you go. There we go. Got there, got for a a second. Second. there we go. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna make sure that everyone's looking at my green. So, um, we actually have a surprise that we didn't know about. My boss, babe, um, knocked on my door today. And I'm like, what are you doing here? <laughs> or she checking up on us to make sure that we're doing our live okay. But she said, actually, she came because she, uh, her and our CFO has a surprise for you. But we don't even know about it. So come on in. Come Iris. on, Iris Green. Here, we'll, here, we'll scoot you right we'll here. Scoot. You want to sit in the middle with us? Uh, can you sure. Squeeze in? Can you squeeze in? Oh, one of these bigger than that. that. Yeah. And then we'll sit down here. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yep. Come on this way. There you and go. Then, right. And then we scoot it. There we go. Then I'll so, hi. Hi. This is my <laughs> lovely boss. 
So um, one of the things that Military Home Base committed to doing um, when we started was supporting military spouses and supporting military spouses when they need their sisters the most. Um, and you and I talked for quite a bit of time. We've talked a couple of times over the last couple of weeks. And I know we're a new company. Um, one of our commitments is to give back to the community. And Jason and I have a check for you for $5,000. Um, <laughs> your mission and um, it's the least we could do we wish it was more but we are still a new company we're less than a year old um, but we really believe in what you're doing and um, we really really want to stop this was money so that we can help with <laughs> so five thousand dollars we'll get with you offline on how um, best to get that money to you guys and um, we wish you all the best I know you guys are doing amazing things and I am proud to do whatever we can to support you oh thank you so much I'm sorry I'm, crying. I'm sorry wow that was one yeah. more surprise. Yeah. We do have one more surprise. Yeah. Um, this she one, was like a two part today. It, it is a two part. Mm -hmm. um, so this other one is actually not for um, what you have going, although you other. and I, I would love to talk about how we can further support you beyond um, beyond a donation. Um, this one is for Samantha, who was interviewed last week. Yes, she was. Samantha I, is. I already said it touched her heart. It so. did. I talked to Samantha mm -hmm. and it really, it really, um, touched my heart on a personal level because, but for the grace of God, any one of us military spouses could be in a position where we lose our spouse. Mm -hmm. And I can't even imagine what that must be like to try to hold your family together when an important member is missing. So um, Samantha, if you're watching, um, we know that you're working on getting your 501c3. As soon as you have that, we would love to be, um, we would be honored to be the first to donate they started with $500. Um, so we will reach out to you offline. But I want you to know, Caitlin, you are truly an inspiration. And um, we appreciate absolutely everything you and your team does. So <laughs> she does. <laughs> yep. OK, I'm going to step out and get yeah. this back. Oh, wait, you got to do it with oh, us, yeah. though. Caitlin, you are here. Yeah. Here. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> she got the big. Go. <laughs> she needs to big up. <laughs> Cheers to you. Cheers, Cheers to you. Cheers. And your yeah. and your you and your team. And to my other Miss Soy Grant winners. I, I'm so excited. We're one week away. That is so amazing. Thank you. you have no idea what I'm doing right now. Like we we're just we just keep going and going and try to take as many referrals and help these families. Oh, I just came in. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. And um, we definitely want to get with you offline to see if there's more we can do. I'll be in touch. Don't worry. I owe you a phone call anyway. So. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Again, and thank you for everything yep. you do for us. Yes. And, and, for and for our community, for our military community. And I can't wait to see what's next. Yeah. I know yes. 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 <laughs> yes. So, and remember that military home base brings you home one, one base, base at a time. time. Good night. Good night. Good, Good morning. morning. Oh, yes, you had a coffee yet. yet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that awkward moment when we're okay. ending broadcast. Okay. <laughs> well, at least it's not me this week, <laughs> Leslie. Um.